Hi everyone, Dr. Melissa here, and thank you for joining me today. We're in a different location in New Hampshire today, and we're gonna be doing a quick core exercise routine, especially if you have a tight pelvic floor. If you're tired of dealing with low back pain, hip pain, pelvic pressure, tension, leaking, this is gonna be the perfect class for you. If you're new around here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out, and I appreciate it. All right, go grab your mat, and let's do this. All right, before we get started, if you happen to have two yoga blocks, go ahead and grab them. If not, no worries, I've got you covered. We're gonna get started today coming into tabletop position. So coming down onto those hands and knees and we're just gonna move around however feels comfortable. See what's happening with your spine. So maybe pressing into those palms, tuck your tailbone underneath. Lift the tailbone, just gently moving. Maybe you wanna create a little bit of movement from side to side. And then start playing around with your breath as you're moving, especially that exhale, that That's gonna help you feel that lower abdominal muscles and pelvic floor kicking on. Nice, gentle breaths, loosening up that spine. We're inhaling. Think softening, opening up pelvic floor, exhale, that gentle lifting up. Awesome, just one more breath, kind of moving however you want. Nice job. And then we're gonna come back to a neutral position. On your next inhale, we're gonna spread our shins apart and then sink those hips back, coming into child's pose. Breathe into the sides of your rib cage. And then on your next exhale, pull yourself, come forward, legs straighten out. Inhale, sink those hips back. Exhale, pull yourself, come forward. Nice. One more time, we're just kind of opening up the hips, opening up that pelvic floor on your next exhale. Pull yourself, come forward. Awesome work. All right, from here, we're gonna take that left leg, extend your left leg straight back. Those toes are gonna be facing the ground. It's that exhale, we're gonna feel lower abdominals. We're not sinking, having that hammock for the low back. And then the right arm is gonna reach out in front. You're not sinking into the left arm. We're pushing into that reach out. And then whether the arm is lifted or down, we're gonna go out an inch, in an inch, out an inch, in an inch. Inhale, we soften. Exhale, feel that gentle contraction. Now, if you're having a hard time figuring this out, I'll put a link up up above (laughs) and you can check out that class. It goes over it a little bit more in depth. It's all about your breathing and your posture. It's what I work with with most of my clients so that you can get this core system warming up for you. Keep pressing into that left arm. Nice work, we've got five, four, three, two, last one. Come all the way down. Now we're gonna come down onto that left forearm on our sides. You wanna make sure your shoulders and your hips are gonna stay stacked. We're pressing our heels together. As you exhale, two options. You can work on lifting the side body, still kicking those obliques on and lift the top leg up. Inhale, we'll kinda lower back down. Or you can press into the palm, exhale, lift and then bring it back down. Careful to not really roll those hips open. We wanna keep the hips facing forward so we can start to feel the outside of those glutes. We're driving the side of the rib cage up. Then you're gonna be feeling that whole left side kicking on. Press those hips, lift them up and back down. Nice job. Good. Squeeze the heels, lift that top knee up. Great work, we're gonna do 10, nine, use your breath, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Come back into your tabletop position. We're gonna go back to that left leg. It's reaching back behind you. That right foot, you're driving down into the top of the ground. 
hover that left leg up and on your exhale we're gonna hug that in towards your left elbow turn to take a peek use your exhale inhale drive the heel back behind now you're pushing so much through that back heel you're feeling the glute fire up and that right leg pushing into the ground exhale turn to peek and then inhale bring it back So we're constantly contracting and relaxing. We're not gripping our abs super tight the entire time because that doesn't allow us to use our core system efficiently. It kind of disrupts that cycle, which can then lead to, if you've got back pain, hip pain, not being able to feel muscles in the right place, great work. And you can be going a little faster. Maybe you're going a little slower than I am. As long as you're feeling it, left glute, and we're getting into that core. Good, five, four, three, two, nice work. Last one. Awesome job. Now we're gonna come back down onto our left side again. So you're pressing down into that form. Two options, we can stay down like we were before and still working those obliques, lifting the rib cage up. Or if you wanna prop yourself, you can come all the way up. Right leg is kicking back behind us. Our hips are still rolling forward. That right arm can be up overhead or straight up towards the sky. And then we've got those pulses. Keep reaching through your back heel. Use your breath, lift those hips up. And if it's more comfortable, you can gently turn your gaze down towards the ground, but you're lengthening out through that right heel. Nice job. Use that exhale. 10, nine, eight. Be careful this leg's not creeping way in front. We wanna keep it back so we're feeling those glutes fire up. Definitely feeling it in our core, our obliques. And of course I lost count. I think that is five, four, three, two, last one. Awesome work. Now we're gonna prop ourselves, come all the way up onto that left hand. Lift those hips, come up, take your right arm and leg, extend it out. Now the right leg can stay down or you could also lift it up. We're gonna be moving our upper body, taking that right hand, oh, super slow, sweep it underneath and you're reaching back towards your left heel. Pull yourself, come back up. Exhale, reach underneath. Inhale, pull yourself, come back up. Exhale, sweep underneath. Awesome work. Inhale, come back up. One more time, reach underneath. And then pull yourself, come back up. Here's where we're gonna take the right knee. Drive your right knee in towards your chest. Step that foot forward. Now we're pressing down into the foot. If you happen to have your block, oops, mind way back here. Go ahead and grab that block. We're really firm in both the legs, keeping our rib cage down. If you've got a block, if not, imagine you've got a block and you're squeezing it. We're gonna bring our arms up overhead. Take a nice gentle breath into the sides of your rib cage and then exhale, bring the arms down by your side. This gentle rotation. Inhale, lift back up, exhale, and we're rotating from your rib cage, squeezing the block on that exhale. And it's not a pushing or bearing down feeling. It's this gentle lifting up. Nice work. Ooh, it's getting toasty in here. <laughs> Gonna lift those arms up overhead. We're gonna do five, four, Three, two, nice work. Really use the breath. Last one, place that block off to the side. And then we're gonna take your right leg, step it back. You can come into plank on those toes. You can also come down to your knees. We're gonna lower everything all the way down. Inhale, pull yourself, gentle lift up. Squeeze the shoulder blades open through the front of your chest. Lower back down. And then we're gonna sink the hips, coming back into that child's pose, but we're gonna spin those shins out to the side. Sink it back. Take a nice big breath in. And just kind of imagine the two sit bones. You're just kind of gently opening. They're falling apart, opening up to the side. We're not gripping, we're not holding anything. We're getting ready, because we're gonna do that all on the other side. 
Take another nice breath in. All right, here we go. On your next exhale, pull yourself, come back up to the tabletop position. Press down into those palms. We're gonna take that right leg, send your right leg straight back. Now you can keep both hands down. We wanna make sure the hips are facing the ground. We're not overarching from our back. Left arm comes straight out in front. Reach through those fingertips, really lengthen it out. We're not sinking, we're pushing. Using our exhale, top of the left foot drives to the ground. Here we go, out an inch, in an inch, out an inch, in an inch. And compare the two sides. How's the control? Does it feel a little bit different? Is it more difficult? What's the smoothness and the control like? Can you feel the muscles fire the same? We're still trying to feel it in that right glute. We're getting it into our core for five four, three, two, last one. Awesome work. Now we're gonna come all the way back down. Come onto that right forearm here. We're going to press ourselves, lifting that left side of the rib cage. We can keep the hips down, or if you wanted to lift those hips, you can come up. We're squeezing the heels. Exhale, lift up, and then we're dropping back down. Squeeze the heels, lift them up and then drop it back down. Use that breath. Shoulders are stacked, hips are stacked. We're careful not to drop too far back. Nice job. And really drive those hips up towards the sky. So we're feeling that whole right side firing up. Good work. 10, nine, eight, Seven, lower abdominals with that exhale. Six, five, press the heels, drive the knee. Four, three, two, last one. Awesome work, come back into that tabletop. We're gonna take our right leg, kick that right leg back behind, drive the top of your left foot in, and on our exhale, hug it in, turn to peak and then drive that leg straight back. Exhale, and then kick it back. Same thing, what are you feeling on this side? So like I mentioned earlier, it's about our breath and our posture, making sure we're using those and optimizing it so that we're feeling all of the right muscles kick on. I feel all the time that I can't feel it in my glutes. I feel it more in the back or the back of my thighs or if you're doing core work, maybe you feel it in your neck. That's when you have to look at how you're using your core and making these specific little adjustments. <sighs> nice work. Good. Five, four, three, two, last one. Kick that leg back. Now we're gonna come back down onto that right forearm. Good. We can either lift those hips up or keep them down. And then we're gonna extend that top leg back. Maybe the left arm comes up overhead and we're just pulsing, little tiny pulses coming up. And play where you feel the outside of those glutes kick on a little more. Maybe it's more kicking it back, rolling forward, toes to the ground. Maybe it's having to drop the rib cage a little bit. All these little adjustments that we can make to make sure we're feeling it in those right muscles. Nice work. We've got 10, nine, lead with your heel. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. We're gonna lower back down and now we're gonna press up onto that right hand. Press, lift those hips, come all the way up, and that leg extends back. Maybe it's up, maybe it's on the ground. Do what feels best for you, and it could be different than the other side. We're gonna take the left arm, exhale, reach towards that back right heel. Inhale, spin, come back up. Exhale, reach underneath. Inhale, lift back up. Good, exhale, reach underneath. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, reach it under. Keep reaching through the back heel, nice work. One more time. Awesome, all right. Here's where we take that left knee, drive it in toward your chest. Step that foot forward. 
Now we're coming up. If you've got your block, you're gonna go ahead and grab that. We're pressing both feet back down into the ground. Tuck that right hip underneath. Grab hold. Oh, there goes my dad and his dump truck. <laughs> all right, take those arms, reach them all the way up overhead. You're constantly pressing your feet down into the ground. Our rib cage is dropped. Squeeze the block on the exhale and twist and rotate. We want to feel these lower abdominal muscles kicking on. Nice work. Check to see if you're gripping your toes on that left side. Nice work. Maybe you need to slow it down a little bit. Make a little adjustment. Drop the rib cage. Nice work. We're gonna do five, four, three, two, last one. Good, take that block, pass it off. And then we're gonna take that left leg, kick the left leg back, come into your plank, maybe plank on those knees, lower everything all the way down. Inhale, you're gonna pull yourself forward, open up. Nice, big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Lower all the way back. Maybe you press back into the child's pose with those shins spinning out. If you wanna come into a down dog, you can also do that. Maybe the heels slightly go out towards the side. Lift the tailbone towards the sky. Nice, big breath in. And then let it all go. One more nice breath in and let it go. Now pull yourself, come forward. We're gonna come down onto our backs if you happen to have those blocks again, or you can also use pillows here. Since we worked our core, we wanna make sure we relax our pelvic floor muscles and our core, those lower abdominals. Great way of doing this. I'm gonna show you two of my favorite stretches. First one, we're gonna take the blocks or the pillows, and you can play with what feels best, higher or a little lower, and you're gonna have the soles of your feet come together, and just let those legs hang open. As we inhale, you're gonna feel this gentle opening of those pelvic floor muscles, and then exhale, just let it relax. We're done all the hard stuff. <laughs> Inhale, this gentle softening. Exhale, let it be nice and soft. So a lot of times I'm, I come across people that think that their pelvic floor muscles are too weak when in fact that they're really tight and we just have to figure out how to get it to work in this whole core system because our core is made up of pelvic floor muscles, lower abdominals, back muscles, and our breathing muscle. So this is a great exercise to do after any of your workouts, just to kind of reset anything. If it feels like you had any tension, just to soften. A minute, two minutes in this breathing, just letting the hips open, nice inner thigh stretch. Okay, so this is the first one. If you're feeling awesome, you can stay right here and keep breathing. The other one I wanna show you is we're gonna take your block or your pillow and just stick it underneath that low back, just below your belt line area. It should feel very supportive. And then you're gonna bring both knees in towards your chest. And then just gently pull those knees in towards your chest, kind of gently rocking from side to side. Nice little inner thigh stretch. Use your breath. Neck and shoulders stay nice and relaxed. Same thing with this one. One, one to two minutes. A great one to do after one of your workouts, maybe after a run, whatever, whatever activity you enjoy. Good. One more breath here. Exhale, let it go. And then we'll bring those legs back together. Place your feet back down on the ground. Sneak that out. And then just gently come back up to a comfortable seated position. We'll take one last cleansing breath in. 
Exhale, bring your hands down towards heart center. Awesome job with those exercises. It's really about getting your breath, your posture, and making sure you're feeling it in those right muscles. Now, if you're still struggling and not quite sure how to make those adjustments or what muscles you should be feeling it in, I'm gonna put a link down below to a free core and pelvic floor challenge. And then if you're wanting to dive even a little bit more deeper and really know those specific adjustments that you need to make, I'll put a link down below to a 10 day rewire your core and pelvic floor program. Keep up the good work and until next time, namaste.